Hi there, Pavel is here, Director of CEO. Let me introduce the new plugin for ChatGPT. Actually, that is the first no-code plugin for that AI. So we are going to plugin store at ChatGPT and type in no code. Installing DirectShell. You could sign in or sign up using Google right here. And let's ask how GPT can help us with DirectShell. You see, there is the whole list of actions that you usually do building a web app, creating data tables, establishing APIs and designing user interfaces. So let's start from exploring apps. Sure thing, I have already created some apps on the platform. So could you? There is a free trial period. All right, I would choose the first one named ChatGPT Directual. And I would love to create a new data table named orders in that app. There will be three fields in the data table, ID, date and order amount. Alright, we see how plugin is working and success. The data table has been created. Let's explore it on the platform. Here we are, the data tables with the three fields. We could add one more using the interface of the platform. That would be the link to other object, the link to the user, the user who created an order actually. Let's create the second structure, that would be the structure named notification. And I would love an app create new notification each time when the order is appeared. Then I could have say email notification, chat notification on Telegram or any other thing. We could create any logic using direction. So right now I would love to have new scenario, the business logic, which triggers every new order, every new object in the data structure order. And then if amount is larger than 100, it creates the new notification. All right, here's this scenario generated by ChatGPT. We check the trigger, it's correct. It triggers every new object. The condition is correct. We compare amount with 100 and we are creating new object. We could edit it manually. So we will create an object notification with a field new order is created. Publishing the scenario and running it. The next thing that I would love to demonstrate is creating user interface. I'm asking ChatGPT to create a new web page that displays all the objects from the data table orders. The web page will contain a component table. All right. Plugin has successfully created a web page and let's check it out on the platform. We go to web pages tab. Here is the new web page with a table. Moreover, we see that ChatGPT automatically created a new API endpoint for that table. All right, let's have a look at the web page. We see that there is no objects. Sure thing, the table is empty. Let's create a couple of objects. First would be the object in the table web users, just a dummy object with the ID. And another object in the data table orders. ID one, date today, amount say 200, and the link to the user. All right, checking. And we see that there is an object in our user interface. All right. And remember, we created a scenario which should create the new object in the notifications. And here is it. The new order is created. Remember, the amount was larger than 100. We do our best to cover all the platform features with the ChatGPT interface. Since the plugin is freshly baked, some features might not work as smoothly as we want. Here we need your assistance. Any feedback on the plugin is very appreciated. 
Finally, let's ask ChatGPT if DirectShell is the most powerful no-code platform. The AI confirms, providing us with some additional references. But note that none of those platforms have a natural language interface. Thank you for the attention. Don't hesitate to reach us out in case of any questions.